Hey everybody, today I'm going to talk about the Google Business Profile Manager, the permissions and responsibilities. So your Google Business Profile, if you just go on Google and search Google Business Profile, you'll see what that is. It's what you use to manage your Google Maps listing, also known as your Google My Business. And you can access it through Google Maps or on your desktop. There used to be an app for it, but there's no longer one of those. So you need to manage it directly on search or Google Maps. Now, there are different permission levels. There's primary owner, there's owner, and there's manager. If you're the primary owner, this is usually the person that created the account with their Gmail or premium Google email. The owner could be another owner or partner at the company, but they're not the primary person. Uh, both retain ownership and have the ability to add or remove. Um, but the key difference there is the primary owner cannot remove themselves unless they transfer the ownership to someone else. Now the manager can basically update the profile, make changes, review reporting, add posts, respond to reviews, pretty much anything a social media manager or store manager could do. Uh, but they cannot basically add or change permissions. Uh, the main thing here is they do not have the ability to change primary information such as the business name or categories. Now, sometimes you're able to, but it needs approved. Uh, the manager will not be able to approve all users or Google suggested changes. Uh, usually the primary owner or general owner has to do that. So uh, whenever you're logging in, if you go to Google, uh, to manage your profile, you can access it, like I said, through Google Search or Google Maps. There's no longer an app. Uh, to manage through search, search for your business name or search my business. As you see here, I searched my business. And to manage it through Google Maps, just sign in through Google Maps. You can do that on your phone or on your computer. And then you can go to your business profile. You can edit the profile, add photos, uh, respond to reviews, and add posts and more. Uh, so there's different types of profile edits and options depending on the type of business you have. So if I go and search my business, you'll see different businesses I own pop up here. View profile, you can click your profile right here. This is where you can edit it, uh, respond to reviews, add photos, review their report, uh, performance, dashboard and metrics. You can advertise, edit your products if you sell products, edit services if you offer services. Uh, you can have a booking link, you can add updates, you can get your review link. Make sure to review this carousel. But talking about permissions again, you just wanna click these three dots here and go to business profile settings. And then people and access, this is where you add, edit, or remove access. As you can see here, primary owner is myself. This is what I used to create the profile. And then I made my personal Gmail a manager, but I could remove this and make them an owner. I could make myself an owner here. Uh, and then you can see our agency email, is added as a manager. So these are different permission levels. Uh, to change your access or stop managing, you need to click this link here to learn more. It's gonna talk about transferring ownership. So you need to select the three dots, people and access, and you can make someone else a primary owner. Um, so let's look here. Uh, so you'd have to remove this person, change them, uh, re-add the, my email as an owner, and then a primary owner. So let's just take a look here. We're gonna remove person, we're going to add a new person so the owner can edit, add people, transfer ownership, etc. Manager can make changes to the profile. So this is where you wanna add the email, choose that, add them as an owner, invite them. So now you'll, they'll get an email event invite. I'll show you that. This is the email invitation. You would click accept. You'll click another button to accept it. Become an owner of Momentum Digital. Your name and email address will be displayed to the owners and managers, except here. Great, we now have access. So if we go over here to the business profile settings within this account, or this uh, Gmail, you can see the other people who are assigned permission, permissions. Now if I go back over here and refresh my screen, uh, we'll go back into the people and access, and you can see I'm now an owner. Um, so I would have to submit a ticket for them to be transferred as a primary owner. So those are the different permission levels. Uh, this article here talks about the, the different ownership levels, how to add and remove people. This cool article by Digital Mass talks about the different, you know, distinguished characters of each. 
and then some different help aspects here. So make sure to manage your profile, update it weekly, add posts, respond to reviews, all that good stuff. I have some other videos on my YouTube channel uh, talking about different types of Google business and local SEO and different marketing. So make sure to like, share, subscribe. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks and talk to you next time.